everybody. So one of the most common questions I get about my Excel dashboards is, hey, can I do the same thing at Google Sheets? Now the short answer is yes, but the process works a little bit differently. Uh, the long answer, slightly longer, is that Google Sheets has a totally different system for doing visual design and customizations, and you have to kind of plan ahead when you're doing your work in Google Sheets a little bit more than you can than you need to in Excel. So all of these cool dashboards, they're all built in Google Sheets, and they start by using the drawing tool. The drawing tool is under the insert tab. You have the option to insert a drawing. When you do that, you get a nice little interface that pops up, and this interface has the ability to drop in shapes and images and text and all of that. What you need to do when you first start your dashboard is think about your layout and build the foundation using the drawing tool. So if you see here, we've got little sections blocked out. So you're essentially blocking out, hey, what do I want my background to look like? What sections do I want? You do that all in the drawing tool first. And the reason is that Google Sheets doesn't have layer controls the same way that Excel does. So your drawing has to be inserted first, furthest back, because you're not gonna be able to move it back and forth or move different sections back and forth later on. It has to be your foundation, your base that you have. Once you have that in, you start dropping in your metrics and charts using a couple things. So your metrics, you can move them around. See, they're not actually in a cell. Your metrics are being dropped in using a scorecard chart, just one of the default chart types. You just point it at the value you wanna show. Your charts are just standard charts. Use the standard chart features, and you wanna customize them a little bit to make your background colors match, to make your series colors match, all of that. But there's nothing too complex there. So those are kind of what enable you to start to do more complex dashboard designs. If you wanna get really fancy, you have the option to do metric selectors and filters. You can have dynamic text values and stuff. In this case, this text is actually a scorecard chart pointed at a cell that has text in it. And you can start building pretty complex things using these concepts, but it's just not quite as easy as Excel yet. And most people who are using Google Sheets typically move over to Google Data Studio to start doing their designs. That's a purpose-built BI tool, and it allows a little bit more flexibility and works well with structured data. But if you are stuck in Google Sheets, if you have to use Google Sheets, you can take it pretty far. You can build cool stuff like this, you can build cool stuff like this. All of these are built in Google Sheets. So they're, you can take it pretty far if you need to. Anyway, I hope that helps everybody. Thanks so much and uh, have a good one. Bye.